The grandeur of Earth's mountain ranges and the unique wildlife of those high countries have gripped our imagination dating back to the beginning of man. Grand mountain ranges to this day epitomize the allure of wilderness, the spirit of adventure and with it freedom and fortitude. Appropriately, alpine wildlife symbolizes these great mountain ranges and our continued fascination with them. And among these creatures, the most powerful representation of where few dare to go is the wild sheep ram. Sporting golden coils of thick, dense horn atop a muscular and sure-footed frame, the wild ram embodies the pomp, the regal dignity, and the high country splendor like no other. He is the intriguing monarch of the mountaintops, a superstar among a hunting culture that celebrates his existence, guards his future, and longs to hunt him even though he is practically unattainable. Few animals personify mountain royalty more succinctly than the glorious wild sheep. The dramatic decline of big game populations after a century of unregulated over-harvesting, irresponsible land use practices, and diseases passed from domestic animals to wild populations is, sadly, a matter of historical record. Fortunately, what's also on record is the remarkable recovery of these populations that resulted from a new concept called conservation, which was initiated by sportsmen in the early 1900s. One species, however, was lagging far behind in its recovery. By the 1950s, bighorn sheep were only present in isolated pockets, representing a fraction of their historical ranges. Unlike other recovered big game species like elk, whitetail, mule deer, and pronghorn that were then abundant enough for regulated hunting seasons, and therefore, future conservation funding could be generated through license and permit fees bought by sportsmen. Bighorn sheep were not so lucky. Their numbers were so few, and hunting opportunities rightfully were so limited, wildlife agencies did not have the funds to dedicate to their management, let alone expand their populations. Although limited in numbers and hunting opportunities, the romance and adventure of sheep hunting were popularized by men like Jack O'Connor, Art Dubes, L.S. Chadwick, and Frank Golotta. Sheep fever was born, and along with it, the desire to do something extraordinary to not only recover wild sheep, but establish reliable programs to ensure their future. In November 1974, a group of wild sheep enthusiasts got together in Mount Horeb, Wisconsin, to discuss the issues facing wild sheep populations and what it would take long-term to recover these iconic species. It became apparent to those in attendance that what was needed was a broad-based and dedicated advocacy group for wild sheep throughout North America, something that was lacking up to this point. The result of this first organizational meeting was the start of the Foundation for North American Wild Sheep, or FNAWS, with a mission to manage, restore, and enhance wild sheep populations. FNAWS was incorporated as a nonprofit in 1977 in Iowa and began gathering members and raising funds to provide to wildlife agencies to finance the comeback of wild sheep and promote the vitality of their traditional habitats. FNAWS became the Wild Sheep Foundation in 2007 to reflect an expanded vision and purpose. This new vision was to ensure that wild mountain ungulates worldwide are scientifically managed and sustainably utilized to reflect the value people place on these fascinating creatures. It didn't take long for our founders to figure out that while there were plenty of people passionate about doing something for wild sheep, a special economy needed to be created to fund these efforts, something that we now affectionately call the wild sheep economy. To date, through a chapter and affiliate network, and with the support of its industry and guide and outfitting partners, its banquets, annual Sheep Week convention, raffles, and the auctioning of coveted state, provincial, territorial, and tribal conservation permits, the Wild Sheep Foundation has been able to raise more than $136 million, funds that were then invested in wild sheep habitat and population enhancements, education, and conservation advocacy programs in North America, Europe, and Asia. 
The Foundation's purpose is putting and keeping wild sheep on the mountain. It's worth noting that an analysis was done in 2014 of Western Association of Fish and Wildlife Agency data that revealed that 74% of all agency funding dedicated to wild sheep conservation came from the auction or raffle of special conservation permits, and that over 40% of these funds were raised by one organization alone, the Wild Sheep Foundation, at our annual conventions. As an organization, we're blessed. It is truly a unique success story. It is a collaborative effort of many stakeholders, this includes sportsmen and women, guides and outfitters, and the companies that support them coming together for a common cause, giving willingly of their time, talent, and treasure to ensure a future for wild sheep. Then we have those who come to us for what they need and have the expertise and do the work. The wildlife professionals from our state, provincial, tribal, and territorial partners. As for members, even though many may never draw that special opportunity to hunt a wild sheep ram, or win a raffle, or save enough to throw in for a guided hunt, they are still all in. For many, a sheep hunt is just joining a friend who did draw a tag, even if it's just signing up for Camp Cook, or Scout, or Packer. There is something special about being on a sheep hunt or just being around sheep hunters that soothes the fever many of us have. Supporting wild sheep conservation is truly like planting a tree and knowing you may never rest in its shade or enjoy its fruit, but someone will. That's the definition of pain at Ford. That's the definition of conservation. These historic investments have resulted in an increased bighorn sheep population in North America from historic lows in the 1960s and 70s of 25,000 to more than 85,000 today. This unprecedented reversal of fortune is directly linked to three key focus areas. The first is improving wild sheep habitat, including prescribed burning, water developments, noxious weed control, land protection, predator control, and either retiring domestic sheep grazing allotments or converting these to cattle grazing. Another is increasing bighorn sheep numbers through population surveys and inventory, trap and transfers to establish new populations, lamb survival and mortality studies, and ecological research. WSF also directs money to focus on herd health through disease surveillance, test and remove, effective separation strategies between domestic sheep and goats and wild sheep, ensuring habitat connectivity, and mitigating disturbances and stressors. What's behind the success is the passion and generosity of our members and partners who have an affinity for the mountains and wild places and the adventure and challenge of pursuing a wild sheep ram, hopefully taking one and leaving a legacy of positive results behind. But it's more than passion and generosity. Among sheep hunter conservationists, there is a like-minded family reunion atmosphere that is unique and bonding. Incredibly, an unprecedented 50% of our more than 10,000 members have joined as lifetime members. Long gone are the days when nature will thrive on its own if left alone, unmanaged. Man has been altering the environment and landscape from day one. Our wildlife needs champions that take action. For wild sheep, in particular, champions that give more than they take. With all the successes, there is still much work to be done. The challenges to wild sheep from disease transmissions, suitable habitats and habitat degradation, and predation remain limiting factors in bringing wild sheep back to sustainable numbers in all areas they once roamed. Regardless, the Wild Sheep Foundation, its members, its chapters and affiliates, and its corporate and agency partners are committed to being that champion for wild mountain sheep in North America and worldwide.